Hello everybody, Amazing Zane here. Today we are going to be talking about a Ninjago leak, which I feel like a lot of people in the Ninjago fan base have misinterpreted. And that leak is going to be this leak right here, talking about one of the sets called Lloyd's Ultra Gold Dragon. And in the figure section, it says the set comes with nine minifigures. Lloyd in a new golden form, the four ninja, Kolkai, Jay, and Zane. Three more villains and a new four-armed antagonist. Now, initially, a lot of people, including myself, Tanner Fishies, and a couple others, were, were thinking that this new four-armed antagonist was going to be Garmadon. But now that I think about it, I feel like a lot of people have misinterpreted it. And I feel like the four-armed... Antagonist is going to be Nauticon instead. Last year, Nauticon got a lot of attention throughout the Ninjago fan base, as many people theorized that he was going to come back in either the Island Special or Season 15, Seabound, Season 14, whatever you want to call it. But, anyways, he didn't show up in either of those, but due to this forearmed antagonist leak, I feel like Season 16 could be his. Um, chance for a big return since it's our then season 16 is already bringing back a lot of villains including but not limited to harumi pythor and mystery just to name some of my favorites but one of my biggest pieces of evidence for for nauticon coming back is that because in this clip from season 12 we can see that clutch powers picks up the teapot of tyran and as he walks away there's a puff of orange smoke which means that he may have figured out how to activate the Teapot of Tyran, freeing Nauticon. But also, in this um, other clip sc screenshot from Season 15, we can see that he has the Storm Amulet, which he... The, so the Storm Amulet was on the Island of the Keepers in Season 14, and, and, it, and if you want to get the Amulet from them, you're gonna... You're gonna... It, it's gonna be hard, let's just put it like that. Oh, and... And so when Clutch first tried to steal the amulet, as we'll see later, he he failed because Nia zapped him with the Keeper's Spears and the amulet fell out of his pack. So that doesn't make a lot of sense as to how he could have gotten the amulet since, like I said earlier, it's a hard place to rob. So I have a feeling... That if he did free Nauticon with the Teapot of Tyran, he wished for the Storm Stormy Amulet so that he could be promoted to Explorer the, of the Year like he did in the in that episode. But anyways, video, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And also, sorry for doing this in such a weird way, but normally I do my videos on... The iPad, but on an iPad, but it is almost out of storage, so I am going to be using my computer for now. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in another video. Bye.